Neil Dexter produced the best figures of his career to put Middlesex on the edge of a victory in their opening LV County Championship match with Nottinghamshire at Trent Bridge. A victory which may have already been assured had it not been for a late fight back by the hosts. Resuming on 297 for six with a lead of 19, Middlesex advanced their total by 23 in the morning before Ollie Rayner edged Ajmal Shazad to Alex Hales on 13. Eyes were on John Simpson at the start of play as he needed 23 more runs to record his first 100 for two years. On 92, he was given a life when Samit Patel put him down off Andre Adams. He was, though, in the end denied his ton as wickets fell at the other end. James Harris, suffering from a hamstring injury, edged a cut off Andy Carter behind. Toby Rowland-Jones gave Patel a chance to atone for his earlier error. While Tim Merton nicked Adams behind to leave Simpson undefeated on 97, but his knock had helped his side to a total of 353 for a valuable first innings lead of 75. And how valuable that lead was became more apparent as knots were ripped apart second time around. It started badly as Ed Cowan was bowled by Murta in the third over. And then in the next, Michael Lum completed a pair when he was trapped in front by Roland Jones to leave Nottinghamshire on six for two. Still, there was no clue to the extraordinary event soon to follow as Alex Hales and James Taylor then calmly added 47 for the third wicket to again balance this match up. But from 53 for two, the home side collapsed horribly after Hales edged the medium pace of Gareth Berg behind on 32. With Harris unable to bowl because of his injury, Chris Rogers threw the ball to Dexter, whose lack of pace did for Patel, who probably won't want to see this dismissal too many times. That same lack of pace also did for Taylor, who bottom edged a swipe off Dexter behind to go for 22. Dexter matched his previous first-class best of three wickets in an innings by then getting rid of Ricky Vessels, and he followed that with a nitbacker that did for Chris Reed. Dexter had taken four for six in 13 balls in this spell at this stage, but then Andre Adams came in to throw the bat in the only way he knows how. He stopped the rot with Shazad to take knots from 68 for seven, still seven runs behind, to 93 for a lead of 18 when Shazad was the eighth man out as Dexter claimed the first five-wicket haul of his career. A three-day win was now on the cards for Middlesex, but Adams had other ideas as he swung Roland Jones away for his second six. Adams has, of course, done this kind of thing before, but Luke Fletcher is normally less of a problem for the bowling team. He, though, chose this day to bat really well to at least hold up Middlesex and eventually give them just something to think about going into the final day. Some of his shots were out of the top drawer as he and Adams changed the course of this game again with an unexpected ninth wicket stand of 89 made in 18 overs. Within it, Adams recorded the quickest 50 of the season so far. He'd hit three fours and three sixes in an innings lasting just 36 balls. Fletcher looked as if he would match Adams, but on 47 he was bowled by Murta just before the players went off for bad light. They didn't return and Middlesex will be hoping that neither that stand nor the forecasted weather for Saturday ruins their start to this campaign. Nottingham shall resume on 182 for 9, giving them a slender lead of 107.